Hello friends. So today we are going to discuss the third problem from the latest code forces round seven one zero. Problem name double ended string. So now, as you can see in this problem statement, this problem statement seems difficult, but uh, the problem is very standard problem if you understand the logic part. So now the problem statement states that you are given some string A and some string B. So now what you can do in each string, you can delete out some characters from the start or from the end. of either of the strings and then you can keep on doing that operation such that both of the strings become equal so as you can see in this this is a and this is b you can so initial string is a and this is b what you can do here is like you can delete out let's use the starting character from a and it become like this or you can delete out like as you can see the first character from b so it can become like this so you can either delete out the first character or last character now it doesn't mean that you cannot delete more you can now in this string you have like in every string you have either two options you can delete out the first character or the last character so as you can see i just delete out the first character so now the string become like this now i can delete out the last character so it can become like this i can also delete out the delete out the first character again so it can become ll again you just have to keep on deleting the characters from a and b such that both of the strings become equal and you have to find out the minimum number of operations like if you do not minimize the number of operation you can always bring down the characters of both the string to one character and that that's also fine but you have to minimize the number of operation such that you have to maximize the number of strings now if you understand that it means that you have to find out a common string which is common in both the strings so now let's assume that i have i just write down like code okay so like this is code and i just again take some string like this so as you can see like let's say it has some buffer part in the end and start and also this has some buffer now if you just find out the longest string which is like a longest sub string which is common in both the strings then if you find out the longest string which is common in both the strings then just delete out the this part because this is the longest string which is common it cannot happen that you have to find out a sub string oh, sorry sub sequence you have to find out sub string which means that it should be continuous so if it is continuous it's obviously that this is a continuous string then it it has or it might has some character in the start some character in the end and the other, other string also will have some character in the start some character in the end maybe this part is also zero like it can also happen that this string can be this da code but there might be some characters also so if this is the longest string which is common you just keep out both of these strings and delete out this part and this part so the number of operations you will do is actually the first just find out the common string in both of these strings which is the largest common sub string in two strings so if you just go to google it's a very standard db problem i don't have to go through again if you want i will again make a video on it i just understand or you just have to google it out or like you can also search it out it's a very standard db problem that's why i'm not making it i will also just copy paste it because i have to also rush down the solution so just just like uh, if you want i can also make a video on it but uh, like uh, there uh, there can be number of standard videos on google also about like uh, finding out the common uh longest common substring in two strings so like like this is uh, the java solution this is actually the c++ solution as you can see this is the c++ solution like taking the input of both of these strings and then you just find out or just do use the db table lookup table to find out the maximum substring it's also simple like it is just a standard db problem and you just use this solution just take this string so it will return out the longest common substring okay between the two string it will return out so as you can see if it return out the common string you just find out the length of this and just using that length if you know the length of the common string you have to delete out from the original string if you take out this string how much characters you have to delete out the total string t1 string minus the length of this string which is like let's do x and uh, if again this is the common string and the total string is t2 so t2 minus x characters you have to delete out from this string also so totals you have to delete out is t1 minus x plus t2 minus x that's the solution for this problem so that's what i've done here is i just pasted out that solution only and then what you have to done here is just in the end take the take the output of the total string find out its length and the answer is m is the x length minus ok ok length means that the ok is the common string length 
and n minus okay that's what i've done like t2 minus x and t1 minus x this is like okay and this is m and n i hope you understand the logic and the code part for this problem and you can just google out the or understand this code this is also very simple uh, and i'll see you in the next one and till then keep coding take care bye